Royal answer. Would some honourable member care to move that the House takes note of miscellaneous business? Uh, Mr Speaker. Honourable Mr. Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, I think at the general debate this afternoon, I think we should on this occasion start with apologies, Mr Speaker. I think we should start with apologies. And I would like to lead off with a few apologies, Mr Speaker. Uh, number one, I am sorry for being a man, Mr Speaker. Uh, has that been done before? Oh, OK. OK, I'll try this one. I'll try another one. I'm sorry for having a holiday, Mr Speaker. Oh, OK. Um, uh, OK. I'm sorry for wearing a red scarf. Um, no, that's a good um, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry for having a mower resuscitation plan. That's got to be new. That's got to be new. No, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, another one for you. I'm sorry for having a secret trust, Mr. Speaker. That would be. It's been done. I'm sorry for not telling you about my secret trust, Mr. Speaker. Has that been done? Um, and most of all, Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry you found out about my secret trust. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, I have another one. I'm sorry for being tricky. That's, that's the big number four. Well, Mr. Speaker, we've seen a lot of apologies, but from now on, I'm going to be straight up. <laughs> I'm going to stick to the Labour knitting. That's what I'm going to do, Mr. Speaker, with the exception of the staff. Mr. Speaker, this train is leaving the station. It, it's left a few times before, but this time it's definitely leaving the station, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is my team, Mr. Speaker. This is my team. Except, except to be fair, Shane Jones, he's not on the team anymore. No. Dover Samuels, he's not on the team anymore. Um, a Andrew Little, he's, he's, he's not really on the team anymore. Um, Damien O'Connor, uh, and Reno Tiricatney, they're not really on the team because they crossed the floor, Mr Speaker. But aside from Shane Jones, Dover Samuels, Andrew Little, Damien O'Connor and Reno Tiricatney, this is my team, Mr Speaker. Well, actually, not any, not any. She's not really on the team either. Or Phil, because they work hard, Mr Speaker. They get hard on the country working hard. They're not, Clayton's not really on the team. To be fair, I don't think he's ever been on the team. <laughs> Trevor! Not so much on the team, not really on the team, but aside from Shane, Dover, Andrew, Damien, Reno, Annette, Phil, Clayton and Trevor, this is my team, Mr Speaker. <laughs> this is my team. Well, actually, you've got to exclude Grant, to be fair, because Grant's not really on my team. Or David Parker, no, he's not on the team. Or Chris Hipkins, uh, he's not on the team. I'm not sure about Stuart Nash. I think he's on the team. Oh, he must be on the team, because he says it wasn't me, Mr Speaker. He said in the Hawks Bay today, he, he denies the claim that he criticised Cunliffe. Although, on the other hand, Mr Speaker, he also said this. I must admit, when I read it in the newspaper, quoting the party source, apart from the swearing, it sounded a little bit like me. <laughs> it sounded like me, Mr Matt said. And he said he was not the source. And the comments could have come from any one of the 15,000 members who go out in the rain putting up hoardings and delivering pamphlets in the cold or that sort of carry on. So, Mr Speaker, this is my team, except for Shane Jones, Dover Samuels, Andrew Little, Damien O'Connor, Reno Tiricatney, Annette King, Phil Goff, Clayton Cosgrove, Trevor Mallard, Grant Robertson, David Parker, Chris Hipkins, Kelvin Davis, Stuart Nash and the 15,000 members of the Labour Party who would have said what I didn't say in the newspaper, Mr Speaker. That is my team, Mr Speaker. It's game on. It's game on. The Labour Party is marching to the election united as a single team, Mr Speaker. That's what's going on. And, of course, we now have... We now have the regional growth policy that we share with the Greens, Mr Speaker. The regional growth policy, Mr Speaker. Here it is. It's, it's out today. One, put a capital gains tax on every productive business. 
Two, Mr Speaker, a carbon tax at five times the current price. Three, Mr Speaker, introduce big levies for the use of fresh water. Four, Mr Speaker, restore a national ward system that would force regional employers to pay what they pay in Auckland. Five, Mr Speaker, stop any more trade deals. Six, Mr Speaker, clamp down on the dairy industry. Seven, on the oil and gas industry. And then, Mr Speaker, the coup de grace. When that's all been done and the regions have all fallen over, Give them the $200 million slush fund to make them feel better, Mr Speaker. And the Labor Party should apologise for that as well. Order, order, Mr Speaker. The question is that the motion be agreed to the right honourable Winston Peters. For a time during that speech, for a time during that speech, I thought his underpants were on too tight. 